Just the last hour, Walmart reopened its doors in Beaver Creek to shoppers. This is after a police shooting that left two people dead. Jordan Burgess is live outside that Walmart this afternoon. Jordan, what are shoppers you talked to saying about what happened? Well, customers are coming in and out of this Walmart here once again. Customers seem to not have too much of a problem with what happened last night. And this scene here, a far cry from how it was last night after a shooting emptied the store. And we're asking this afternoon why a man was inside this Walmart with a gun. Now, the store did reopen just before 11 this morning. Now, police are still investigating why that gunman entered this Beaver Creek Walmart just before 8.30 last night. Officers say that 22-year-old was waving a gun at customers, including children. Police say he was shot when he wouldn't listen to officers. He later died. Now, we do not know his identity yet. A second person was also killed. The Greene County Coroner's Office says 37-year-old Angela Williams from Fairborn had a medical incident while running from the store. We're asking customers here today about how safe they feel returning to that Walmart today. I'm very sad about this whole thing because with my two kids in the back of my car and everything, I'm very kind of concerned if I take them into the store and everything and have them with me, it's going to be more concerning. It's a surreal feeling, especially, you know, some of these employees, you know, most of these employees probably work days. They probably weren't here last night, but, you know, I, I can only imagine what it, what it would be like, you know, for the pharmacy employees or for the um, night shift employees. And we do expect to hear from police later this afternoon where we're going to get more answers about just what happened inside this Beaver Creek Walmart. But once again, the store has since reopened. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.